Welcome everyone to the third development video for Axis Football 2017. My name is Danny Jugan. I am the lead developer for Axis Football. Um, and we've got some really exciting stuff to show you. Um, over the past couple months, uh, you've, if you've been following the game, have probably seen some screenshots or some stills of the new player models that we are adding to the game in 2017. Uh, and this is going to be the first time that we really get an in-depth look at them uh, beyond just the still images. Uh, we're also going to show you the all-new customizable uniform editor, uh, which is going to give you guys the next level of control over the appearance of your players in the game. Um, so if you kind of go back and look at what we've done um, in terms of adding features to the game, last year in 2016, we supported a variety of mods, one of them being the uniform, uh, not really editor, but the ability to go into some pre-made templates and adjust the uniforms, uh, the characters in the game. And the feedback we got was, you know, people really like the ability to do that but there was kind of a barrier to entry and a learning curve associated with implementing that because they required the use of some sort of third-party software either Photoshop or Fireworks or GIMP or something like that and not everyone a has the ability to access those or the time to spend doing that sort of thing um, and we, we consistently got feedback that the mods are great, but we need a better way to interact with them. And this uniform editor is one of the steps we are taking to help with that. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to kind of show you that we have two different levels of modifications that we can do in terms of uniforms. So let me open up the uniform editor, and the first thing I want to let you guys know is this is available in game so as a part of access football 2017 you will have access to this exact editor that we are looking at um, now we still may make changes uh, add things to it and that sort of thing but this will be available to you guys in game all right so what I want to do is I want to walk through some of the features and uh, show you how it works and I want to go through the two different levels of modifications that we have. So the first level of uniform mods is what you see here. You can change a variety of aspects of the uniform simply by using the controls that we've provided for you in the editor. Um, and then there's a whole nother layer to what you can do uh, with uniform mods and we will get to that um, after we go through this. All right, so. First of all, I'm going to start up here at the top right, and then I'm going to move back and go through all of these. This is where you select all the teams. Um, it's no surprise that we are also going to support unlimited teams this year um, in a much better way that we did last year. Uh, so if you want to add teams by just creating new folders, they will automatically appear here. Um, so let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Chicago. We'll start with Chicago. Um, now let's come over here to the, the top left. Um, here's where you can actually select the font that appears on the jerseys. Okay, so as we kind of, we can rotate this guy around, uh, we can rotate the camera up and down, we can move him up and down, zoom in and out. Um, so you can get some nice, nice close-ups on this. Let's take a look at the letters here. So these are the letters that appear on the jersey. So if you look at the back, the name that appears along the back, you've got three different choices for the font that appears there. And you notice as I change them, um, the font on the jersey changes. This is kind of like an italic sleek font. Here's a classic block style. Um, and here's the kind of a similar style with the, um, the serif on them. So looking at the color options here, this gives you the ability to change two colors uh, associated with the the writing on the jersey uh, and this just for the name on the back uh, you could change the fill color and you can change the outline if you don't want an outline you just uncheck this um, and then it'll show up without the outline 
um, you want to put the outline back on just click that again if you want to change the color you've got a nice color selector here typically or uh, typical of what you would see in any sort of image editor um, so you select the color there and you can either hit apply changes or I'm hitting spacebar you notice that it changes the colors that along with that as well um, if you want to change the outline color you do the same thing there okay so this gives you complete control over the color of the um, name on the back of the jersey now let's take a look at the number fonts um, we have a lot more obviously number font available uh, for you guys to choose from anything from classic to some patterns at the bottom we're using one of the patterns here on the uh, Chicago uniform so you can see as you go through and change these you get um, lots of different font options and it's just randomizing the numbers on the jersey so that you can um, get some different ones but even if we go to a classic block style you can see that we've got three different color options here we've got um, the fill color here and then we've got an inner outline and an outer outline all of which you can specify the colors we can change the fill color here if we want to go maybe we want to swap these colors around um, so one of the things that we have is the ability to add these kind of saved colors um, obviously if you've got uh, a team uniform you're working with you're going to be reusing the same colors so if we want to save this orange and maybe we want to save this blue as well um, we have the ability to do that so if we want to change the fill color maybe we want to change the fill color to this blue so we'll select it here and then we see how that looks now we've got a fill color and then what if we want to do the, the inner outline is white and the outer outline is orange let's see how that looks um, let's actually swap these two let's do orange here and white here and we get kind of a space in between the the blue and the orange so again you guys can customize this all that you want um, you have the ability to change lots of different stuff in terms of the numbers um, and this controls both the front and the back numbers as well I'm hitting spacebar over and over and it's just randomizing the different numbers and we'll get to some additional controls with that um, down below in just a bit uh, I do want to take a look at some of the pattern fonts though because these are pretty cool um, as you change the the outline fonts here it changes the ones that show up um, changes the patterns on the inside so there's we've got a couple different patterns here kind of like a steel look um, so again there's some different options for you we wanted to add some things that you don't typically see in a lot of other football games giving you the ability to do what all grown men want to do and that is to dress up uh, their football players so um, looking at a couple other options we've got the ability to write the numbers on the shoulders or the sleeves depending on your jersey type so if we want the numbers on the shoulders or we don't we simply uncheck it um, and it will write them to the shoulders and you can do the same thing if we wanted to write them to the sleeves um, now you can have them both on you can have them both off you can have one on um, and one off totally up to you. you notice if we put it on the sleeves here it's gonna go right over top of any design you have there so again just take that into consideration um, with whatever you are doing um, alright so let's move on to the next section the optional pieces now it's important to note that this does not control whether or not individual players on your team will wear these that will be controlled at a separate place so you will have the ability to control whether or not your running back wants to wear arm sleeves, armbands, or wrist wraps, or whether your quarterback has a helmet visor, and so on. You will have control over all of these for each of your players um, so that you can customize it as you want. What you do in the editor is simply specify the colors uh, that those pieces will be if those players are wearing them. Um, so you can check and uncheck these to, to show or hide them on the player um, and you can change the colors maybe this looks better with uh, an orange so we'll go with an orange one instead let me change our name back to uh, we'll go back to the blue with the orange 
maybe you want to do white arm sleeves. Um, completely customizable options there. Uh, looking at the armbands, these are going to be upper armbands here. We're going to give you the ability to also write on them, uh, which we'll show you in a little bit. Uh, wrist wraps are here as well. And again, you can wear both of these if you want. Um, it won't let you, you can't do both arm sleeves and armbands um, for obvious reasons. But um, again, options here, changing colors or whatever you want. And finally, we'll take a look at the helmet visor. You can turn the visor and the helmet on or off. And I know the last time we saw some images of this, uh, this was not transparent. We have obviously fixed that. Um, but if you wanted to do orange or white or clear, you've got that option. If you want to do it more of a black look, you can do that as well. Um, so that kind of wraps up that section of the uniform. What you have down here is um, whether or not the name that appears on the back is random. Same thing with the numbers. This has nothing to do with the names of your players in game or, or that sort of thing. That'll be controlled elsewhere. This is just if you want to test out how something would look. So if you want to say, well, I want to see how my particular player would look. I'm number you know, 82 and my last name is Jones. I want to see how that looks. Um, so then you can actually write Jones on the back, or maybe your last name is, I don't know, Trump. You want to see how you would look as a professional football player, or whatever. You can do, um, type in whatever name you want on the back. Um, and then to randomize it again, you simply just check random, and then it'll pull some random names from there. Same thing with the numbers. Okay, so let's take a look at this last section here, and then we'll move on to the this second layer of mods that we have available. Um, so we've already showed you the team select here. You can select different teams here, and it'll automatically load in all of their jerseys. Um, so let's actually take a look at Boston, um, their uniform section. And what we have here is the ability to mix and match. Um, and this was something that we really wanted to offer you guys um, with these player models. And so each of the individual pieces of the uniform is separate. Uh, and what that allows us to do is match different jerseys with pants and shoes and that sort of thing, and then combine them together in a set so that if you wanted to reuse them later, it's much easier to do that. Um, so in fact, what we have is we have six different sets um, for this team, and you can simply cycle through them by clicking on the arrow, it loads them in. Um, you can cycle between jerseys if you just want to change out the jersey. Um, we've got different glove options, lots of different ones, um, two different pants options. And these are, s some of these are specific to the actual team and some of them are shared among all of the teams. So all of the shoes and all of the gloves will be available for all of the teams without having to create any on your own. Um, but these jerseys obviously would not be available for other teams. Um, these are going to be specific to um, the Boston team. And let me show you how to create new uniform sets because you'll do that right from here. So for example, if you take a look at Carolina's uniform, They've got, this is their away uniform, uh, gray pants with a white jersey, and then their home is um, black with gray. If we wanted to be able to, actually let's take a look at Chicago, this will be a better example. And we're still in the process of creating all of these uniforms. Um, big shout out to Joe and James who have um, really taken a lot of time to get in there and design these uh, you'll notice that all of these uniforms, and we're only looking at a couple here, I'm going to send some others out uh, to some uh, people that run YouTube channels or websites, that sort of thing, to show you some different ones. Um, but we have two guys that are dedicated to drawing out and designing custom uniforms for each team. We aren't simply just color swapping, uh, so you're going to see different designs each time you play a different team, uh, which is just something we're trying to add. 
Um, so if we take a look at this, Chicago's uniform, their white uniform, excuse me, their away uniform is all white, and their home uniform is all blue. You might say, you know, I like this, but I'd like to do white pants with the blue uniform. So all that you do is you simply come down here to pants, and you select the white pants, and maybe you want to, instead of having orange on the armbands, maybe you want to do uh, blue arm sleeves and instead of the orange visor maybe you want to do a white one or a blue one and so if and let's take a look at the shoes too maybe you're not a fan of these color shoes and so let's pick a different color shoe we could do pattern here and we've got to flip the font on the the shoes here um, maybe you want to do just a white shoe, a plain white shoe, or a plain black shoe. We've got some different f patterns that you can do. Maybe we want to use this pattern shoe. And same thing with the gloves. Instead of the navy gloves, maybe we want to use white gloves. So we'll grab these white gloves. And this is a uniform set that we want to play with. This happens to be what we like. So you come down here and you click Save Uniform. And you can either override an existing uniform by selecting it here, like if this is what you want to be your new home uniform, you select it here. Or you can simply type it here, and we'll call this our alternate, and then you click Save, and that will now save it here. So you can cycle between your home, your away, and your new alternate that you have done. And notice that this has our saved gloves and the pattern shoes that we have if we go switch to another team and then we come back to Chicago now we still have the three uniforms that we've done here's our alternate our away and our home so it is really easy to create new uniform sets with this um, giving you access to all of the different fonts and the colors and the optional pieces um, being able to mix and match we wanted to turn those controls over to you so all of this will be available to you guys included with the game and uh, you don't need any sort of technical skills as far as using Photoshop or anything like that um, to create additional uniform pieces. And this is where the first layer of our uniform mods ends. Um, you, have, you can do all that sort of thing, but if you do want to take it one step farther, we are also offering lots of additional things. And that's what I want to take a look at right now. So... Um, the file structure is going to be a little bit off because we're still in the development process, uh, but if you go into uniform styles, what we're going to provide is a set of templates, both for GIMP, which is a free version of Photoshop, and Photoshop if you've got it. We're going to provide a set of templates for each of the different pieces. So for example, let's look at helmets. We have 20 different helmet templates already designed and created and ready to go for you. Um, so this is going to allow you to create new versions here. So for example, Chicago right now, we're going to add more, only has one helmet. They've got two different pant styles. So if you want to create additional pant styles, additional jerseys, additional helmets, and that sort of thing, this is how you do it. So using any one of these templates, here I'll open up the, the first one, you'll notice that it's color coordinated. Um, so that you can figure out what is what. These are already separated into layers. Again, Joe did a fantastic job of doing this, making it really easy uh, for us to use. Really easy to change colors. Um, let's take a look at some of the other ones. This one has some stars on the helmet if you wanted to use that. This one has a double uh, helmet stripe down the middle. We can look at some of the later ones. This has some different stripes. These have some kind of flares to them. And they, again, there's a ton of these. Here's some um, kind of like what you see in like a cat or like an old Bengals uniform. But the point is, these are very easy to edit. If you want to change the color, you simply change, or if you want to change these, you simply change the, the fill color that we have over here. Uh, I mean, again, these are available in both GIMP and Photoshop. So let's say we want to add this to the game. How does that work? You simply go File, Export. So we're going to export this as a PNG. Um, I'm going to go back to our Uniform Editor. And I'll save this as, uh, I'll call this Alternate Helmet. 
save it there. Now that we've got our alternate helmet, I'm going to cut it from here, and then inside of mods, let's say this is going to be for Chicago. Throw it inside of Chicago, inside of their helmets, and we see the current helmet that is there now. I'm going to paste this one here as the alternate helmet um, so we can see how this works. Now, we offered this sort of support last year with being able to modify the uniforms. But the huge downside was there was no way for users to see how their changes would be reflected inside of the game. So they had to do some editing outside and then go back in and they had to get all the way into the game to see how the uniforms looked. Um, it might have been difficult to get a camera angle to see how they looked. And so it was a really time consuming process. Um, and that's something that we really wanted to address. So you notice I dragged that into the alternate, or excuse me, into the sh Chicago helmet uniform. And then when I click reload textures, notice that it popped up another one here. And I can now select the design that we dragged in there. Okay, so obviously the colors are wrong. We'll need to adjust the colors. But what this allows us to do is when I go ahead and I open the alternate helmet. I'm just going to open it in fireworks. It's okay. When I open this, it allows me to make adjustments to this and see them directly reflected in here. Okay, so if I wanted to, I didn't export it as a layered version, but if I wanted to, let's say, change the color of the stripes to black. I could do that. So change these to black. And then when I save it and I go back into the game, I simply click reload textures again. And now they are black. So again, really quick example of how it works. Um, but now we can, if we wanted to create a new uniform set with our alternate jersey we would just click save uniform if we wanted to override alternate we could click this and click save uniform set it's going to confirm that we are overriding we'll click yes and now as we go through and hit the away uniform it pulls in the away then it pulls in the home and then when we go back to our alternate it has it saved that we want to use this helmet so again you can use that process for jerseys for gloves for the socks and the shoes all that sort of thing giving you basically total customization over how it looks. Um, all of the uniforms that we've created so far, the ones that we've looked at and the ones you've seen in the screenshots, all of those were created using the same set of templates and the uniform editor that you're seeing here. So everything that we have done, you guys will also have the ability to do as well. Um, so that about wraps it up for us uh, for today. Just a couple things I want to point out. Um, I know you guys are interested in other things beyond this. Um, this is a really cool feature, but we know it's not everything. Um, and we know that you're interested in gameplay, you're interested in franchise mode, you want to know what we're adding in those departments. I promise we're getting there. This is one of the things that we had to get out of the way early so that we could develop other parts of the game utilizing the new player models that we have okay so we have new animations that we're adding uh, we have new types of plays we are adding lots of different stuff to franchise mode uh, we will get to that very soon your feedback is really important to us so please let us know how we're doing uh, please let us know what you think about this sort of stuff um, a couple other things I will point out you can continue to pre-order the game um, through our website here if you just go to pre-order um, there are different levels of pre-orders that are available uh, that will give you beta access um, in all of the levels as well as some naming rights and options for the other ones um, so yeah again I think that'll uh, wrap it up for us please let us know what you think about this uh, and we will be back soon with our next development video thank you so much